Jay here. On tonight's edition of Beer on a Budget, we will be discussing... Alright, what's up, budget beer lovers? I know, I know I've been gone a horribly long time, and I apologize. Um, I've been in a wealth of craft beer of late, and frankly, just hadn't been in the mood to drink less than that. Um, now, after the apology's over, I really did, you guys, I felt guilty for not getting one of these out. Um, and for, I've had a lot of subscribers since the last one, so for those of you new to the channel, uh, the budget beer episodes are where we actually sort of kind of half-assed review um, more common beers that everybody can get available that don't cost a fortune and everybody's had them and we kind of have some fun with it. So anyway, bear with me. Tonight's beer is Dos Equis and this is their Lager Especial or Special Lager. Um, it clocks in with a beer advocate score of 65, though the bros rank it at 63. It is 4.3 ABV. And let's crack it open and see how they are. One thing to Dos Equis credits is they do not use twist-offs. Um, not sure if that technology's made it to Mexico, not to be rude. But uh, anyway, they do use a pop-top. As soon as you open the beer, at least these green bottles, which my brother-in-law swears are no good, and he left them at my house, uh, you can smell skunk. Just a little bit, a faint hint of it. So, the beer itself pours to a very light, light straw color. Uh, actually pours to maybe a quarter inch ahead that actually seems to be lingering, and it is very, very well carbonated. Um, anyway, let's give it a smell. A little bit of skunk and a little bit of malt leaning towards corn. Maybe even a hint of uh, a straw in there or stale bread. Um, mostly corn though. Anyway, let's see if it's any good. Well, it's smooth, it's uh, easy to drink. However, there is a kind of a an odd aftertaste. I'm having trouble even placing what the aftertaste is. Um, stale corn uh, it's um, it's not very pleasant it's leaning on the sweeter side for these beers there's really not any kind of hop note to speak of or even balance out the sweetness of this beer definitely on the sweeter side of these um, once again for those of you new to uh, budget beers uh, welcome uh, thanks for hanging out. The one thing we do do on budget beers is we try to find out, since these really aren't all that palatable, is are they chuggable? Can you get through them quick just to get your buzz on if that's what you need? So we top up the pint glass and uh, here we go. Let's find out is Dos Equis Lager Especial chuggable? Cheers. Barely. Got about three quarters of the way through that one. And uh, very carbonated. Um, didn't taste good. Almost didn't make the chug. Uh, quite possibly, different night, different set of circumstances. I would not have completed this chug. Um, as far as chugability goes, Yes, it was, but 
it comes with a I I wouldn't do it if I was you. It is one of the worst beers I've ever chugged. And in fact, as far as flavor and taste goes, it's been a while since I've reviewed or even drank a budget beer. I'm going to say it's probably one of the worst of the beers I've ever drank. Um, there's not a whole lot pleasant about Dos Equis, uh, special lager. If um, you had a choice of something else, I'd probably go with it. Um, that being said, if it was the only beer in a store and you really wanted one, you can get through it. Cheers. Have a good night.